children welcome you all in today's class in today's class we'll be discussing the page number 157 from your textbook okay so look at the topic here the king's story the king was very happy with carpenters chegu and anar they had made a very big and beautiful bed for him so can you see the bed here so king was very happy because they too were carpenters and they made a very big and beautiful bed for him okay so as gift the king wanted to give some land to chegu and some gold to anar okay so land to chegu and gold to anar okay so chegu was very happy now okay so what chegu to the chegu uh, king is saying that take as much land as what comes from 100 meters of wire okay so if you keep the boundary as 100 then how much land is coming that much land you take for your own like that king is saying to chegu okay so chegu was very happy he took 100 meters of wire and tried to make different rectangles he made 10 into 40 okay so 10 into 40 means what is the square area 10 into 40 means see for a rectangle this is 10 breadth is 10 and uh, length is 40 so like this here 10 here 40 so if it is like this 10 plus 40 50 plus again one more 50 so 50 plus 50 100 no so boundary will be 100 and area is how much length into breadth that is 400 okay so the first rectangle was like this then second rectangle he made 30 and 20 okay then the area was how much 3 2 6 so 3 2 6 6 right so two zeros near by it so it will become 600 sq m square meters okay so which is bigger 400 square meters or 600 square meters obviously 600 square meters is more okay the difference is 200 square meters between these two areas okay next what is its area is it more than the first rectangle yes okay next what other rectangles he can make with 100 meters of wire so only one condition we have the boundary should be 100 meters okay and the area can vary okay for the first one we got 400 and for the second one we got 600 even you can make 25 into 25 you can make a square also okay so square means 25 plus 25 is 50 and again 25 plus 25 50 so totally the boundary will be 100 okay so what will be the area you have to find it okay so 25 into 25 just multiply and find out how many square meters it is then comparing all the three then you say which one will be bigger 400 600 or this area of square okay then see chegu's wife is saying something chegu's wife asked him to make a circle with the wire she knew it had an area of 800 square meters so she was very clever and she she knew it previously that if she, he makes a circle with this 100 meters of wire then the area will be 800 square meters okay now chegu says ah i want this piece of land it covers an area of 800 square meters so when he compares 400 600 and 800 this 800 was big so he was very happy and he chose to select this land okay so now king also agreed because the boundary was 100 only but the area inside was 800 okay is it clear so when you compare a square and rectangle and a circle the circle only will have the bigger area even the perimeter if it is same for all the three the area of the circle is going to be the bigger one on comparing all the three okay so now here we have a question why did chegu not choose a rectangle explain okay it's obviously because the circle covered more area than the rectangle or the square okay okay then now che chegu has taken 800 meters of land anar now i will give you as much gold wire which can make a boundary of land with 800 area okay so the king is saying this to anar okay is it clear so he is going to give him some land with the area 800 square so anar also tried many different ways to make a boundary for 800 square meters of land so the area that uh, king gave was 800 square meters of land and anar was planning to make different rectangles with different perimeters okay only area should be 800 square meters 
ओके सो ही मेड रेक्टेंगल्स ए बी सी ऑफ डिफरेंट साइजेस फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री ऑफ ईच हाउ मच गोल्ड वायर विल ही गेट फॉर दीज रेक्टेंगल्स ओके सो द बाउंड्री शुड बी द किंग मेड एन अग्रीमेंट दैट हाउ मच बाउंड्री द लैंड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर्स इज कवरिंग दैट मच गोल्ड वायर विल बी गिवन टू आन आर ओके सो ही इज ट्राइंग डिफरेंट रेक्टेंगल्स द फर्स्ट वन वॉज फोर्टी मीटर्स इंटू ट्वेंटी मीटर्स that is length is 40 and breadth is 20 okay so what is the perimeter formula 2 into l plus b so in place of l you will get 40 in place of breadth you will get 20 so 2 into 40 plus 20 that is 60 no so 260 is a 120 so 120 meters of gold wire he will need for the first rectangle next is for b so here he has extended the length of the rectangle so it became 80 meters and breadth became 10 meters now the same formula we are using 2 into 80 plus 10 that is 2 into 90 okay so what is that 2 into 90 is 180 so 180 meters so which is bigger 180 or 120 180 is bigger okay now next one he is trying he is making the length of the rectangle as 800 meters and breadth as only 1 meter okay now if you calculate using the same formula for perimeter 2 into 800 plus 1 length plus breadth so that is 801 so 2 ones are 2 2 zeros are 0 and 2 eights are 16 okay so totally 1602 meters okay see how big it is yes or no 1602 meters of gold wire but then anar made even longer rectangle see how long see it is very big no d rectangle is very big so it's uh, Length was eight thousand meters and its breadth was only zero point one meter. Okay, now if you find the perimeter for this one, so what the perimeter will be? Two into eight thousand plus zero point one. Okay, so eight thousand plus zero point one is how much? It is eight thousand point one. Okay, so two into eight thousand point one is how much? See, two into eight thousand is sixteen thousand. Okay. And point two into one two, okay. So now sixteen thousand point two. So this much meters of gold wire, the king has to give to Anar. It is very very big, no? Yes. So gosh, how can I give so much gold? So king was very confused. He don't know what to do because king uh, Anar is asking him nearly sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand meters means how many kilometers, children? It is. Sixteen kilometers. Yes or no? One thousand meters equal to one kilometer. So sixteen thousand meters means sixteen kilometers. Is it possible to give that much long of wire, gold wire? That too? No, not possible. So King was very confused. Okay, so that's why King got fainted. Now, do you understand why the King got fainted? Yeah. So now listen here. Can you make a rectangle with a still longer boundary? I made a rectangle one centimeter wide and eight thousand meter long. Imagine how long the boundary will be. So one centimeter wide means one centimeter is equal to how many meters, children? One divided by hundred because one uh, one meter is equal to hundred centimeter, right? So one centimeter is equal to one by hundred meters. Okay. So that is we have two zeros in the denominator. So in the numerator it will be it will become zero point zero one. Before two numbers we have to keep the decimal point, right? So. Okay, so if you keep this one as the breadth and eighty thousand as the length, then eight, to, the formula will be eighty thousand plus zero point zero one. Okay, so this will give you see sixteen thousand. Sorry, sixteen not. First you will write sixty and sixteen and then four zeros point zero two. Okay, so this is how much one lakh sixty thousand point zero two. Oh my God! See how big it is. Okay, so this many meters of gold wire, one lakh sixty thousand meters of gold wire. If king has to give to Anar, then he will not be the king. Anar only will be the king. So with that much gold wire, he can become the king. So he was very very clever. Okay, so that's why when the breadth of the rectangle becomes smaller and smaller, its perimeter becomes bigger and bigger. Okay, keep it in your mind. So two things we have learned today. The first one is when we compare rectangle, square, and 
circle with same perimeter okay area covered is more by circle only okay circle only covers more area if all the three have same perimeter also area covered will be more by circle only okay and when you compare square and rectangle square only will cover more area okay if you do this calculation 25 into 25 if you uh, find the area and see you will get you will know that okay next one more thing what we learnt is from anar's topic we we learnt that when the breadth of the rectangle goes smaller and smaller the perimeter goes bigger and bigger okay so these two concepts are very very important you have to remember this okay so that's all children we have completed the chapter okay uh, try to understand whatever is taught and complete the book work thank you and have a nice day